Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy, happy new year. 2021, 2020 is behind us. I feel like we still got a little residual to deal with, but man, things have got to get better, right? So, I'm in our indoor showroom, and I'm walking around trying to figure out what unit I want to show you guys this morning. But you'll notice we've got our banners and stuff in here because we're getting ready for our indoor RV sale. So pretty much, actually, no, every unit that we have in the showroom right now, and actually the entire lot, we're doing a big sale on. Mailer is gonna hit probably today or tomorrow, and then I'm gonna start posting all about it uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And we're doing like big extra savings on stuff. Uh, plus just great prices on everything. So get ready for that. Pay close attention to social media today. Um, let's do this 32 RBFQ. You know, my first, well, my first camper was a pop-up. My first big camper travel trailer was actually a Puma. It was the 32 RKTS. So I have a special place in my heart for the Pumas. I love what they've done to the outside of the Pumas. I liked the look of ours, but I think this look is even sharper. So they've updated the outside and they've changed the front cap around. Looks really, really sharp. Mine had a big puma on the front of it, which was cool. So this does have the electric tongue jack. You've got your propane bottles. You have access right here that's actually your closet. And I'll show you that when we get inside. This was just like what was in my 32 RKTS. So I'll show you that when we get inside. You have a awning, electric awning that stretches most of the camper. And that does have LED lights under it. You have outside speakers, which is nice. An outside shower, and a lot of people are like, what do you need an outside shower for? Honestly, we used it when we took our beach vacations to get the sand off of our feet, and also to wash the dogs if they get dirty. It has a really big outside kitchen, which is pretty cool. You've got a refrigerator, which will hold plenty of beverages, a microwave, you've got some drawers, sink, and of course, a uh, like a black, Blackstone style cooktop griddle, which is nice. These are great because they're going to cut down on the foot traffic going in and out of your camper during the day. You know, uh, you won't have the kids running in and out to get something to drink. You can also keep snacks and stuff out of here. So that's really nice. You do have a ladder. So it is a fully walkable roof, making it super easy to clean and maintain. You are backup camera prepped. What that means is, is right there, if you pop that bad boy out, you put a backup camera in there, you are good to go. Solid steps. You guys know I'm a big fan of those. They do make it easier to get up and down and in and out of the camper. You've got a nice grab bar to hold on to. This unit weighs, do, do, do. You know what, it's not showing us on this side. Okay, let's go to the other side because I do want to tell you guys the weight first. Which that's fine. We can show you the other side of the camper while we're at it. I just got to navigate here. Ugh, too fat for this. Okay, so I can't tell you the weight of this unit because we have everything pretty packed in here. Let's try going to the front. It's an adventure, guys. Do, do, do. Can he get around the hitch? I think so. Oh, I'm doing some MacGyvering here. Oh, I should also point out, see, this is a good thing. This does have your battery kill switch, which is great. When you're not using the camper, you're storing the camper, turn this, you don't have to physically disconnect your battery, but you're not gonna have to worry about battery drain, which is super nice. Okay, dry weight of this camper is 8,745 pounds. That's about, what mine was, and we had at the time, we had a Sierra 1500 that was rated at 9,800 pounds. We took our camper down to Gulf Shores multiple times, never had a moment's trouble. We come inside, we're gonna start up here in the bedroom. 
The bedroom is on a slide, so you see it's going to give you a lot more space. This is just like the bedroom in mine. You've got your queen-size bed that does have storage underneath. Nightstands on both sides of the bed. And you have some storage up above. We always kept, like, pillows and blankets and stuff up there. A really big closet. Like I said, we vacationed in it. My wife and I never had an issue with space for our clothes when we took a week, week and a half vacation. So plenty of space. Oops. Then here's that closet I was showing you from the outside. What was great, we had our washer-dryer combo. As you see, it's washer-dryer prepped. So we didn't have to worry about running up to the laundromat or the camp laundry store, whatever. We just did all our laundry here. Very, very nice. And you still had additional storage. So we kept like brooms and stuff like that in there. Directly in front of the bed, you've got drawers and you've got a TV backer up here. So you can mount your TV there. What we always did was we just had our TV setting here. And then when we were in transit, the bed comes in and comes to like right here. We would just lay the, the TV face down on the bed. Never a moment's trouble. You do have some storage right here I want to show you. It goes underneath your sink, so you have access from both sides. They have added this cool, like, accent light under the counter, which I really like. Did not have that in our camper. You have your jackknife sofa here. So that's nice. That's going to give you an extra place to sleep if you want. And you have storage underneath, which is really, really nice. I'm going to sit down here. and I'm going to show you the entertainment area before we start into the kitchen and the rest of the camper. So you've got your TV that's on a swivel. You've got your Bluetooth, CD, DVD, soundbar, all that good stuff right there. Your electric fireplace, which those things are fantastic. I've had them in all of my campers. They're nice if you just want to turn the light on for aesthetics, but they're also great to take the chill out of the air, make it super cozy in here. Painting over to the kitchen, another update they've done is went with the lighter, brighter colors. So you see they've changed their flooring. And now they've went with these white cabinets and then they've done like the darker, darker color accents around to really balance it out. They went with that nice, rich, dark countertop. You do have storage below the sink. You saw that from the other side. You've got a big countertop here with a stainless steel sink, detachable sprayer. You have your three burner stove, a very cool backsplash. And what's also cool, if I can get a hold of this, is you actually can use this as an additional backsplash. You know, some people ask how you use that right there. You don't have to worry about splattering grease and stuff up on your counter. You have your stainless steel refrigerator and your stainless steel microwave with some additional storage there. Then, very family-friendly coach. We have our U-shaped dinette, and that does have storage underneath it, and this will also turn into a bed. So you've got your master bedroom, You've got your jackknife sofa. You've got your U-shaped dinette. We'll go over price here. So this is the price. Like I said, it is on sale, and there's additional savings. And I like. I hopefully will either be posting about that today or tomorrow. If you're not on our mailer, reach out, send us a message, and we can get you added to the mailer. If you're not on our email list, reach out, and we can get you on the email list. So then coming around before we go into the bunkhouse, you see we have some additional storage here, and then we go into our bathroom. So you have that neo-angle shower there. Plenty of height in there, especially when you've got that skylight. You've got your toilet, of course. Storage below your sink, as well as a place to keep the much-coveted toilet paper over there on the left. You do have a medicine cabinet with storage behind it, of course. Exhaust fan in here. Keep the humidity down or smells. <laughs> then last but not least, we have our bunkhouse. So like I said, family friendly and the fact you've got that outdoor kitchen, you do have plenty of sleeping space, but if you didn't have enough, now you have even more. You've got your futon-ish sofa, which will come out into a bed. You've got a bed here that will fold down that will support up to 300 pounds. So, I mean, you could sleep an adult up there, no problem at all. Directly across from the couch, you've got a place where the kids or whoever can put a TV. Uh, you've got some storage there as well. You know, they can put their gaming units and stuff like that down here. I can see this unit also for people that have like uh, young adult kids who want their own private space and stuff. They can make this into their private room. And you have additional sleeping up here, which again also supports 300 pounds. 
So there you guys have it. Like I said, stay tuned for all the details on the sale. Um, should be today or tomorrow. As always, if you have questions or maybe I walked by a camper you want to see more of, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to do it for you. Have a great Monday.